Hey everybody, it's me Space Chase. How's it doing? I'm doing a little more Sigma Star Saga tonight. Let's just get into it, shall we? Let's get out our little Game Boy Advance. And we've got the Sigma Star Sagas. Starting it off. And we hit the button. <laughs> Chapter 6. 10 hours, 10 minutes. Ooh, neat. So, now, our next step is to head toward the Krill Planet. So, oh, and Scarlet's with us. That's right, we're looking for... Come on! You should need to do this. Hold on. We go to space. The button was on the wrong toggle. Sorry about being Billy. Now we're back. back. Oh no, things are urgent. Offline. Better save. Oh, they're shooting at us. Bunch of them. Why does that... Ow. Why are you not getting hit? Hold on. Melody Wisp, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, raiders. Uh, hold on a second. My VTS Pong is not outputting to the right audio again. Here. Pog Online Poggers. There we go. Okay, our friend is working again. She can talk now. Hey, thank you for the raid, Melody Wisp. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, I'm Space Jace. I am a variety streamer VTuber uh, with a thing for retro games, especially Game Boy games, which is what we're playing right now, an old Game Boy Advance game from around 2005 called Sigma Star Saga. Uh, it is an RPG where the random battles are shoot 'em up levels. And uh, let me real quick give, give Melody a shout out. Space Balerin. Isn't that, um, it's the Magic the Gathering card, right? Yes, a friend of mine gave me one of those. Uh, because of Space Jace. It was very funny. Uh, it's very cool. I'm not into Magic the Gathering at all, but I have one of those. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, what, what's funny is I was at a developer's conference a while back, and someone was handing out, like, little uh, uh, near-field communication little cards that you can program and put, like, your LinkedIn account or something on there. So I slipped that into the, uh, like, little card holder, little slicky case. Uh, thing for the space chase card I have now. So now, if I meet somebody, I can pull that out and be like, my card, and it'll <laughs> link them to like my information and everything, which I think is funny. Um, so yeah, uh, we we are. You can by tell you, you can probably tell by the music. We are currently at a very uh, tense moment. We are going to the alien Krill homeworld to save our alien. Apparently, girlfriend. Look 
kind of nearing the end of the game, so there's a lot of lot of lot of plot that's happened. Um, but basically, Earth and this alien race called the Krill want control of this bioweapon, which is a bunch of living matter inside a bunch of planets. And it turns out one of the planets is the Krill homeworld, and they developed a virus to kill it. Earth did. But then they didn't want to use it because they wanted to wipe out the Krill homeworld, but we're now taking it. So they can't, and now we're going there to save our girlfriend, maybe? I'm not sure what's going on. We are uh, at Earth, a human. We went undercover as a krill, which is where we met that space girlfriend. Uh, ah! Okay. I know where to dodge. Just shoot. Okay. Most of the game, this is not the kind of combat there normally is. This is... Most of the combat happens in little shoot-em-ups in space, and we're dead. Okay. Okay, so, oh, yeah, this, this combat is a bit rough and not particularly well fleshed out. Ow. Let me just go this way. What's this way? Oh, okay. Hello? Okay, not good. There's just monsters in this room. Ooh, gun data. Oh, and health. And gun data. So yeah, that's one of the customization things in the game is you can customize your guns. Ripple node. Ripple node over at three helper nodes. Orbit the ship. Okay, that's interesting. Now our current selection is this pre-aim cannon. It just fires automatically really fast, so the DPS is super high. And by holding the fire button, you actually can aim it. Uh, there's some interesting bullet types. Homing missiles. Bouncy balls. We just stick with the generic giant orb. And then there's impact types. Which ours is currently just a pass-through. There's also ones that will, like, split off or create, like, splinter bullets, which is kind of neat. All right. We gotta hurry. Our, our space girlfriend may be in trouble. Oh, there's more gun data over here. We also need to collect everything, though, you know, just in case. Oh, new impact type. Wave crash. Wave shots are created on impact. We'll try that if we go to space again. The, it's literally just line up and shoot before they can shoot you. Oh my goodness. Just gonna run by this guy. I'm gonna run by this guy too, and this guy. Ah! Okay, okay. That's just a communication room. Um, up, 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 up. Oh. Oh, this might be the right way. Ah! Right. They're guarding the stairs. work. Why does that not blow them up? Yep. Why does that bounce off? It doesn't make any sense. Keep running. Yep. This room? Nope, that's a bedroom. Excuse me, pardon me, sir. Excuse me. Ow. It's gonna be another bedroom and there's a monster in here. Cool. Health? Nice. Ow. Okay, maybe this way? 
Ah, we gotta use our wings. Or not! Or this is a dead end. Okay. Don't have a map. Run by. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, okay, they're still dead. That went nowhere. Um, no? Maybe? This was the communicator room. There's nothing else there. Stairs. Damn, those guys can't turn around. Um. Hmm. Hmm. game. Well, we get different music in here, at least. We can just maybe sit in there forever and just chill. Okay. Up there. We just went here. Um, ow. And there's nothing here. Ow. This way? Oh, this is the monster room. Pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. I'm just back down. This way. Gun data. Ooh, bullet type. What is this? Mines. Explodes against enemies. I don't know about that. A lot of variety in, like, gun types. A lot of them are not viable. I guess we can try this again. It's locked. Oh, wait. Can I... Can I... I cannot do that. Okay.
Oh. Oh, that's one way to get out faster. Yeah. No fair respawning. sense. Me to go. I am so confused. You need that to scanner out? Maybe there's some secret I can find with the scanner? Gun, gun, there's gun data all over this place. Another impact type. Ooh. Super shield. And the 30th impact. Interesting. Maybe. Did I try the scanner over here yet? Maybe I didn't. It's not a switch to unlock the door. What? what do you want from me, game? Starship, we like broke through one of those panels and got into some vents, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. I thought maybe they spawned that guy in here so that you'd use the little kick mine to like blow it up, but that would break like part of the wall, but doesn't seem to be doing that. Uh, run around everywhere with her scanner on. Nice to get to the cool part of the game where I get to like fly a spaceship and shoot things again. Oh, hey, gun data! Ooh. Big wave bullet. Max wave shot. Energy patterns with maximum range. Ooh. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Anything? No. Well, we can save again. There we go. Fine. Well, we won't lose our uh, gun data. We die, and we get full health. I have to look up a guide. Yeah, hello? Are you gonna help? Do you have anything to say? Anything at all? Okay, guess not. What's that? Is that a map? What is that? It's offline. Oh, 
here. Okay, anything? Nothing. What? What's going on? I love the urgent music. Ow. There's, there's nothing here. Anything? Anywhere? Oh, oh, I probably just have to kill everybody. Right. We did that before on another level. Let's shoot all of these soldiers. This guy's the last one. Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're like a bunch in a corner somewhere, right? Those are those ones I just... Oh, boy. Keep running. Keep on keeping on. Ah. You. There's one at the top of these stairs, too. Or not. One down this way. Yep. Ow. There it is. Okay, we just had to shoot everybody. Of course, violence was the answer. Why didn't I think of that? Now that everything's calm, I bet we can get through this door. Or we have to go to the communicator room. One of the two. Ah, cutscene. Oh, Thyme is in charge? Thyme, are you okay? I like how they put that behind a bunch of gaps like um, the prison in another one, so you thought she was a prisoner. Dude! Give me a chance to explain. How dare you keep this up? You keep lying to me, even to the end. It's my own fault, you know. I never should have let my guard down. I was so stupid and gullible, but not now. Now I know who you are, and I'm going to finish you off. Lime, I'm so sorry you had to learn the truth over the com, com line. Dirty must have told Bloon everything. I honestly thought I could reason with him and settle things peacefully. When he showed resistance, you did what you Sigma pilots are trained to do. Same as you did to me back on Earth. Yes, I shot you down. That's my job, defending Earth from invaders. I was demoted because of you, scorned and humiliated. And then I listened to you and your foul sob stories. I even kissed you! I'll never forgive you for it. What about me? You burned my teammates out of the sky. How does that feel? All I've known is pain and hatred since that day. And now, I can tell you to your face. Let's cut the chit-chat and fight. No! Tell me why not. Because now I know the truth. I don't hate you, and I never did. We were pit against each other by evil men. They don't care about us or the good of our planets. All they want is the power to control us. And by fighting for them, you're giving them more of that power. I don't know how you do it. All I wanted was a fair fight, but now you've gone soft and ruined it. Just like everything else. Haha, <laughs> you know? I would have walked away from everything if you'd only had the courage to ask me. Dot dot dot. What I felt for you is real. 
time. But for you, it was all a game. Don't follow me again. Like, that was entirely a one-sided relationship. Like, <laughs> we were not <laughs> really interested. She was just like, you're, you're mine now. No talking to other girls. Here's some wings. Wrecker, what happened? Was Syme here? Dot, dot, dot. She's gone. We can't stay. Not in orbit over the Krill no homeworld. While that monstrous thing wakes up, we've got to get away. Hey. I can't leave her. Dot, dot, dot. Not again. Dot, dot, dot. Will the ships on the starbase still link with my parasite? You're asking me? Yeah, you're asking her? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to the surface. I'm going to get her back. She's all that matters to me now. Okay, but hurry. I don't want to be anywhere near that here when that planet blows. Wait, aren't we unblowing up the planet? That was a hole? That was a hole in the ground. Okay. Let me fly back. Anything? Nope. All right. I think now we go to the surface. Right, let's give it a good old save. Yep. Oh, we can go... Ooh. Now, do we go to the surface? Or do we go back to the previous places and look for things we missed? I'm feeling going to the surface is probably going to be the end of the game. Eh, this will be more fun. I'm gonna get on with it. I'm sure we can always go back. Oh. Okay. We are on the Krill homeworld. Mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, we're going to space! What? We're, we're fighting Earth ships? Oh, these are Krill ships. No, I thought the Krill ships were, like, brownish. I'm confused. Yeah, these are Krill ships. I've already forgotten what the ships look like. It's been one day. Oh boy. Maybe I should have gone with the wave. Oh boy. Wrong could also be useful. Huh, wasting my build. Put me in the big ship. I don't like the big ship. The ship will get us randomized every time. Oh boy. bullets. There's only so many sprites can be on the screen, and when we fire a lot, some of the things don't actually proc, because they despawn before they can do anything. Let's change our ship up a bit. Oh, okay, that's, wow, that's interesting. Let's, let's try the big wave. Oh, 
good health. Oop. Let's try this. Oh, wow, yeah, it fires too fast. It's firing too fast, and it's... Well, it's definitely blocking the fast ships, though. But holy cow. Yeah, it, it, it's blocking some... It has a limited range. It said it's long range, but... It can only spawn so many sprites. <laughs> and it's running out before it gets partway through the screen. That's great. Okay. Alright. Hold on, I have a brilliant idea. Let's beam back down. Alright, let's play with some of the new toys we got. Let's remember which button to select. Oh, jeez. Okay. And pass. Pass through? Okay. Let's see how that works. Oh, we also leveled up at some point. Okay, that's a wall. Up we go! I gotta press the fire button. <laughs> this looks a bit weird, but we're just filling the screen with wavy bullets. And they pass through things too, so... Again, too many bullets though. sequel this game that fixes some of the issues with it, because it's a great concept, and it's fun. There's just a few minor issues, some of the weapons don't work quite right, and yeah, the sprite limit really holds it back. I'm sure some of the devs at Wave 4 would love to take a break from churning out Shantae sequels and do something different, maybe. They've also been making River City Girls. That's been really fun. I still haven't played the second one. I need to get that. That's on my list of games to play. Back down. <laughs> okay, so... Not quite. Maybe... Interesting. So that gets us to parts that were inaccessible through walking. Up, up we go! What? Oh, we're... <laughs> we're... Okay, we're in Symes now. Interesting. Oh, stage clear. Oh, I wanted to play that ship more. Yeah, we go. Yep, up we go. Okay, 
that is ground. We shouldn't be hitting that. Oh, we're clear. Back down. Bomb? Crossing a bridge? Uh oh. Oh, back up we go! Whee! Pretty cool. <laughs> Get wrecked. I love when you beam back down and land on something. All right. All right. Next area. Oh, good save point. Orbital orb volley. Enjoy the uh, randomness. All right, so many doors to choose from. Oh, never mind. We don't get to go in the door. We get to go to space. Oh, we're in the big slow ship. Ah, uh, the crashing ships will hit us. Okay. Orbiters, this is so cool. You might call it an orbital bombardment. No, oh, okay. Yeah, we're at the save point. Might as well get our health back. Ladders. Nope. Uh -huh.
Nice. But this door. Oop. Oh, no, that fast ship. That's right, you can't catch me. I'm too fast for you. Ah! I'm too fast for me. Bombs, good. A little bit of health. Uh oh. Yep, that's that's not what I want to do. Get exploded, loser. Oh, oh we go. Unless, like, maybe we took over the star base and so the rest of the planet is attacking us. Up we go. Up!
there's still more. There we go. Up we go. Oh, not the big ship again. Statue. All right, we're full on bombs. Back this way. And back into space. We are getting lots of experience from it. Oh, look out. Uh oh, something hit us. Oh, save point. Good. I do like saving. <laughs> okay. Up. Oh. <laughs> Barely even let us walk up the stairs. These spaceships are so needy. I don't need bombs or health. I don't really need. Oh!
Nope. There's something fancy down here, right? Oop. Well, I guess we'll find out when we get back down to the surface. Wow, that, that had some range on it. Closer. Oh, good save point. Mm -hmm. Up we go. boss encounters, maybe you want something specific to that. Like if it's a ground boss, like you might use a sprinkler, 
gun. And rely on the default guns for the regular shoot 'em up levels, but they're way too weak in my opinion to really be useful. To avoid shots when you're that big. Teleported us back down instantly. That was weird. Oh, I should use bombs when I get that thing. Hard to avoid shots. Oh, I just came from there. Move back, back down. Up the ladder. Teleport so quick on that one. Oop. <laughs> All right, this has got to be a boss, right? Yep. Save. This definitely looks like a point of no return boss type situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, knew it. I knew it. Gun data. What is it? Number 20. Plus 10? Max power shot adds plus 10 damage to your current power. So it's just a regular shot. Oh my goodness. Hmm. We're gonna go regular for now, and if we need it, we'll break it out. I don't wanna find out that that's like the, oh, you're having trouble with the boss here. This thing will just nuke it for you option, you know? Ooh, throne. <gasps> the Overlord! <clears throat> well. Dot. Dot, dot. Who's there? You managed to infiltrate my private chambers, Mr. Wrecker. So you're the all-powerful overlord? You have journeyed so far only to meet your end here, at the foot of my throne. Time! But it somehow seems fitting. You have served my cause with such diligence. 
It's only fair that you should see the heart of the Krill Empire before you die. You've got to stop. If you wake up whatever's down there, your planet will be destroyed in the process. I see that you have spoken to the race of Eot. Or what remains of them. Yeah, and they've told me everything. How your forefathers tore one of their creatures out of Earth and nearly destroyed it. Yes, one of our more benevolent acts. Had it grown to full size, you would not be standing in my presence today. What does that mean? When my predecessor exhumed the creature from your Earth world, he already knew about the one dwelling within Krill. In retaliation, he released the creature on Eot, the wretched beings that impregnated both our world. They got our planet preggers and they just left that's irresponsible. Against the weapon of their own forging, the fool stood no chance. They said you stole the creature from Earth for yourselves. That's why they planted one inside Krill, yet that doesn't make sense. If it was already there... <laughs> they lie. So you're saying you tore a hole in Earth for its own good? You, you, you could have told us about that. You could have been like, hey guys, there's an alien parasite at your planet that's gonna blow it up. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just extract that for you. Uh, we'll help you out. Here's some places you need to evacuate because they're gonna get blown up in the process, you know? Just, 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 just a little heads up. Just a little, hey guys, you know? They're just coming in and just blowing people up and murdering our defense forces because we think you're invading. I, I don't believe you. Do I not show concern for my own world? I, I don't know. I We just met, and it seems like your planet is in dire straits, and you're probably gonna... Ah, why else would my krill return to your Earth in these recent days, other than to monitor the healing of the wound? Again! Who'd have radioed ahead and let us know? Who'd have just not just shown up and just shot down our fighters? Like really need to communicate here. You know, communication is one of the most important aspects of any relationship, and you seem to be really dropping the ball on that part, is what I'm saying. Uh, is, is there some interplanetary therapy? Maybe we can go do some counseling. You know, kind of kind of work things out, kind of explain, you know, our need for communication and how to properly express ourselves and our needs and wants before blowing up millions of innocent people. When the creature comes forth from our planet, the damage we sustain will be much more severe. Then why don't you do something about it? Good question. The prize outweighs the losses. But your highness, Krill is our mother world. Ah, it was the sentiment of those weepy-eyed simpletons on the high command as well. The rest of their souls. You're a monster! Time, listen to what he's saying! Dot dot dot. He will not be deceived by you again, Earthman! Time! Let's get out of here. You don't have to die here with this madman! The birth of a deity is at hand. I must prepare myself. Time! Yes? Dispose of Mr. Racker. Oh, dot, dot, dot. What's that noise? Uh, what? Ah! Be a good girl and inform his highness that there's been a change of plan. Sir, it's Commander Zelly. She must have summoned him into the ship. Take care of it. Oh, now we gotta shoot our space girlfriend. The moment is at hand. The sleepers awaken! <laughs> I, I need some water, excuse me. Everyone hydrate. Make sure you get some water. Take care of yourselves. It's very important. Okay.
everyone gotten themselves a drink, a little water, a little sip, a little stretch. All right, let's let's blow up our space girlfriend. Hello? Oh, hey, it's that ship. Now let's settle this once and for all. I won't fight you, but the button to progress dialogue fires the guns. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's going by itself. Look around, your world is ending in chaos. You've got to fight the real enemy. Now I'm doing it. I'm powering up my weapons. Leave or else why? <laughs> I refuse to lose you again. Sign, sign. Ah, no, no shooting. No shooting the girlfriend. Ha You can't get us! With our expert strategy of flying a little bit higher than you. I assume we probably do have to shoot her. I was hoping there might be like a little easter egg if we don't. We'll give it a minute. We'll give it a solid minute. And if so, we'll just assume we have to murder our space girlfriend. So, how's everybody doing? Just gonna gonna hang out here. I'm not actually counting down any time. I made a pizza today. I used some tomato sauce from tomatoes from my own garden. It's very good. Write a little prosciutto, make a little crispy kind of like bacon. Some basil leaves also for my garden on it. That fresh, like fancy mozzarella. Oh, that's very good. All right, time to shoot. Yep. This is going a lot faster than the first time. Oh, oh, okay. We got her. We won. Oh, experience points. Woo! Yeah, we did it. We're heroes. I am surprised you were man enough to destroy her, Mr. Wrecker. I see that you, like me, would sacrifice your own to see your goals achieved. Exactly what I was hoping for. Don't pull this, like, Emperor Palpatine stuff on me. I'm not going to be your apprentice. I will enjoy keeping your company on this blessed occasion. This life is too short for planetary allegiance, soldier. Soon the galaxy will be decimated, and once I have usurped its power, I will unleash a wave of destruction, beginning with your blue, dusted planet. Everyone you've ever known, burned from existence. Oh, we're exploding. Oh! Okay, that's badass. Ah, can you feel it? The pangs of birth resonate already through the first creature's deafening wail. The first planet is dying, Wrecker. A million forest begins. A million forest beings eradicated as their world is crumbled about them. Was that the forest planet cracking? To give birth to a new life, he comes first. The sleeping flesh. Oh, oh, they're all hatching. Oh, no. And as he spills out in the cosmos, so also emerge his five brothers, each clawing and carving their way to the surface of their own planet, decimating eons of life and history in the process. Yeah, that's bad, dude. You understand why that's bad? That's, that's, that's not good. The destruction of an entire galaxy in the course of a moment. And now, like starving dogs, they tear at one another's flesh. Didn't we have the virus for like a few years? Was there a time skip? Our bros didn't go and just, you know, use it on the planets? I guess not. The dance is divine. And when it is complete, only one beast shall remain. Wait, they're gonna fight each other now? Oh, okay. Big, 
big monster. That is very cool. It is within him, the flesh deity who, as we speak, spills chaos on this planet. With him that I will emerge and claim reign to the stars. In another moment, Earthman, you will be nothing more than another corpse. Corpse? Corpse. Drifting through my space. Your actions have been in vain. Already my creature is victorious. And having consumed the strength of his brethren, he now waits to feed on me. Can you feel him coming? Can you hear him calling for his master? Together, we shall consume the universe. I'm floating into the sky. I will be unequaled in power. <laughs> What's going on? What's that thing? This is the end. Just hold on to me. No, we have to do something. Like what? Like, I still have the virus. We can use it, but we must move quickly. The tyranny destroyed it. I saw him. Trust me. Zelly, get us out of here. We've got to find the heart of the monster. What's your plan? We'll weaken it. Create an opening into its bloodstream. And insert the virus there. Oh boy. Oh, it's all the creatures from the different planets we were on. So I guess those things were part of it and protecting the bio weapon monster thing? I guess it makes sense. Those are all from the ghost planet. Oh, oh no, that was that. No, that was from something else. Okay, that was from the sand planet. Level up, nice. Okay. Inside. Oh. Oh, oh we gotta fight the bosses, huh? Oh no, not good. Oh, okay, we got it. Yeah, we can't shoot behind with this build. That could be a problem. Next. And I love these backgrounds. I love the parallax scrolling stuff too. Look at that. Well, this game is very pretty. Okay, we got one of these guys. Okay, that didn't last long. Might be a little over level. That's that's good. Hello? No, no one. Okay, we just fly slowly. To the next boss. Oh, oh! Now we're going fast. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. We're hitting warp speed. We have to hurry. Engaging maximum thrust. Woo. This is fun. Oh, now. Unfortunately, our only way to heal is to level up. I mean, there are no, like, extra lives or anything. Once we're dead, we go back to the save point. Alright. Oh, the 
music stop. Oh, oh, hi there, giant human face thing. Is that the Overlord? He's merged with it. That's the weakest spot. Destroy it. Oh, ow. Okay, not good. Bombs away! Oh, the bombs don't destroy the balls he spits. Oh, this is, this is a, this is one heck of a, plus one life? What was that? Oh, no! Oh boy, can we skip the cutscenes? We can. Start. Once and for all. Any chaos, fight for real enemy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Everything explodes. Uh. Oh. No. Can't skip these. Yeah, that's fair enough. That, those are some pretty kick-ass. <laughs> some pretty kick-ass art. I work very hard on these. Yep. All right. Yep. He's going up into the sky. Yep, 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 yep. He's got, he's got tentacles. Ugh. Uh. Ah. Too soon. Oh, now we go. Oh no! Oh no! I broke it. Oh no! I broke it. <laughs> I hit it too soon. Hold on, hold on. We can fix it. We can fix it. Hold up, up, up. Ah! There we go. Good as new. Alright. We can hit from the inside. Oh boy, I need I need those experience orbs. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what? Wow, our health went away fast. Watch out for the tentacles this time. Yep, yep, that's the overlord. Yep, yep, yep. What about the palette changed? Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, oh gosh. Those are. Oh, ha, ha, ha. fire my cannons at full speed. I guess I'm going down and be like, uh... Go for the eyes. Ten times damage. There it is! Wow, that was easy! Yada yada, yada yada, worlds explode. Very cool big hand. Big old monster guys. Biggest monster guy. Pentacles. 
evil laugh. guys on like an earth settlement. time. You take like two hits.
It's now or never! Huh? What? What are you doing? Use the virus! I have to go now. I should have told you. Told me what? Earlier, when I ran away, I gave myself the virus. It was the only way I could think of to keep it safe. I'm sorry. No! Is it gonna go cough in its mouth? Is there something I could have done differently? Are we always destined to suffer and die in this war? I thought somehow, after all was said and done, we could find a way to be happy. I was wrong. If you're listening, please, forgive me. Dot dot dot. Earth is safe now. This mission is over. It's time to begin a new life. A better life. I can't believe both of our girlfriends died. We did it! Ah, we did it! Original concept by Philip Cohen. That's a great concept. Created by Matt Bozon. Published by Namco Home Tech. Executive producer Robert Ennis. Business unit developer Jeff Lugin. Producer Philip Cohen. Product marketing manager Tara Samuels. PR manager Kristen Calcagno. Senior operations manager Jennifer Tersigny. QA, Glenn A. QA, Daryl. Errol, QA Allen, QA Testers, lots of names. Special thanks. Joppa and Otto, Buddy and Sable. Morse, thanks. Developed by Way Forward, Radical Overlord. Boldy Way, Executive Producer, John Beck, uh, Designer, Matt Boson, This is Director, Adam Tierney, RPG, Andrew Michael Strait, and Scripting, Game Flow Program, Story and Character Design, Character Animation, Absolutely excellent work on the art team, Additional Backgrounds, and Background Level Design, this game is really good. This is fun. Boss design. Music and sound effects. Dynan! Oh! They're really good. Voice actors. Illustrations. Tributers. Thanks. Nintendo Power! Haha! -ha! Oh, man. Back in the day. Good old Nintendo Power magazine. Thanks for playing! Ooh! out of that. That's cool. Sigma Fighter has been unlocked. Oh! There's unlockables? I guess? I should have made a save state before I did that. I should have made a save state before I did that. I don't know what I've just done. Well, we're gonna find out what I just did. Forget it. I can make save states. What do we have? Cat 
Ch chapter one? Oh no. Oh, okay, we can start the whole game up. There's a new game plus. Geez, I wonder how far back my latest save state is. I've been forgetting to make those. Um... out of orbit. Sigma team, follow my lead. Oh my god, no! on when someone plays it. It's a great game. Have fun with it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we, we just beat it and started New Game Plus. I've very much been enjoying it. I, I vaguely remembered it from like years and years ago. I think it came out in like 2005. Never played it. Thought sitting on the shelf at a local used game store with a sticker on it that said certified authentic. Like 45 bucks. And I was like, well, I mean, if it's important enough to be certified authentic. And like, I remember, it's like, oh yeah, that's the, that's the RPG where the random battles are. Shoot them up levels. That sounds fun. And uh, it, I, it's, I, I like it, it's fun. All right, here's the eyeballs. Oh, nope. Ow. There it goes. Oh, oh. Um, more sign. That's right, we cannot sprint yet because we don't have an alien parasite. 
You're a hero, Lieutenant! Stay suited up. Commander wants to see you straight away. Hey, pilot. You can check your status on the status screen. Just press select. I don't remember ever seeing anything in inventory items. Like maybe once for a quest? I don't... There's like multiple... Places to go? Remember that. Just my luck. The one ship in the Armada with remote clearance to this room gets blowed up. Guess I'm not getting in here again. Oh, is that something I need to come back for? Oh, I. Is that where we end up going when we come back later? Okay. Oh. Yep, there's this room. That's right, I think that's where we find some tyranny. Commander Tyranny, sir. At ease, Wrecker. You know I like to keep things informal. Yes, sir. Let me be the first to congratulate you on a job well done. Those Krill monsters will think twice after today. Thank you, sir, but we lost good men. Some were old friends. I realize that, pilot. And that's why I'd like to hit... I'd like to offer you a chance to hit the Krill where it really hurts. But don't be hasty. You'll want to think this one through. The AEF has taken extensive measures to conceal what I'm about to tell you. It won't leave this room, sir. Probably aware of the men we've lost gathering intel in Krill space. Yes, 50 men, presumably captured or executed. What you don't know is that many of these men are alive and now serve the Krill. The Krill use them as various low risk, in various low risk capacities that profit from military training. With the Krill, their knowledge of Earth and their surrounding planets is invaluable. An opportunity exists that I want you to exploit. And that is? Enlist into the Krill Armada. Of the enemy? Why? We've engineered a scenario involving a Delta-class Krill star base. We can get you in. Once there, serve the Krill with diligence, seek promotion through their ranks. Once you gather the intel we need, we'll extricate you immediately. What exactly am I looking for? Complete specs on the Krill's new super weapon. Details about that are sketchy at best, but we believe it's a planet killer. We need you to find out what it is before it's too late. I should beam out of my spaceship real quick. <laughs> there we go. Then I have no choice. The clock is ticking. You're the only one I can trust with this mission. You need to decide how far you're willing to go for your planet. All the way, sir. Straight to the Devil's Door. Good man. Get into their starbase and gain their confidence at the highest levels possible and transmit any information you can about that weapon. Understood. Better crack this open now. No telling what those devils drink or if they even have bathrooms. The Sigma Team. You mentioned a plan to get me in. It's already begun. Whoa, whoa. What's... What did... You... Do... Dot 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 question mark. Sorry, pilot. It had to be a lethal dose. Go out proud, son. Like your friends. Make the ultimate sacrifice. Chapter 1 In the Employ of the Krill So we're starting at level one again. See? See? It moved again. It's breathing! That thing is alive and breathing. You're imagining things. I didn't know such thing. Watch this. I'll prove it to you. Hands off, you bloodthirsty fool. That'll kill it for sure. Let's just push it back into space. We'll say the crate was empty. 
Are you crazy? Stand between Commander Bloss and a new Earthman? No way. Fine, remember you found the Earthman, I found the gun. Hold on. Nope, no good. The breathing stopped again. Guess things after all. Mm, badly. Extensive damage. Try to. No use. Bah. Look at those grunts did. There's hardly anything left to work with. Mm, this guy's been through plenty, all right. It's a wonder he's still alive at all. He can't croak soon enough for me. Commander Bloss has signed the, the carcass over. My office. <laughs> if you need an Earthman sample so badly, snap off a finger. He won't need him where he's going. Did you two back off? I need room to operate. A waste of time this fellow's to death door. No, <clears throat> no way he can fight in this condition. Mm, things mine either way. You won't last five in the... Flipping? Hand me. Still to save. Too late. <coughs> oh, water. Ooh. And you're coming around. Try not to strain your muscles. Yeah. I just said not to strain your muscles. Do you know where you are? Can you recognize me? You... You are... Thrill. I'll admit I'm surprised you should be quite dead by now. You are on a Krill Starbase. A fairly run-down one, but a Starbase nonetheless. How? Your security shuttle had a misfortune of crossing our pass with one of our warships. We found your body while salvaging the wreck. I dare say Earth was glad to be rid of you, judging by the maximum security cell. It must have been expensive to banish you to space. You must have quite a history. I remember it was dark. Dale, how long have I been asleep? Well, no, I wouldn't call it sleep. You were delirious for the first eight days, and unconscious for nearly three weeks after that. A month? It's all so confusing. Hard to remember. Why? Why are you helping me? I'm sorry to say that restoring you to a functional state is no rescue. Amanda Bloss has plans for you. Unless I'm mistaken, he plans to meet you in the ring. He wants to fight me? Bloss is... or what? was, in his youth, a fighting champion. On this star base, it's the only crew pastime we have. The crew is very excited to see their first Earthman fight. We're fighting to the death? Well, that all depends. I think I can buy you a bit more time. Try to rest. They'll be skinning you in the morning. <laughs> Say what? You know, your stream is really... Oh, well, thank you, Melody. Mm, wake up, kid. You're on. <laughs> five more minutes. This, this is snooze. I'm ready to skin you. Skin, skin me? What do you mean? Don't worry. It's not as bad as it sounds. They just want to fit you with a parasite. Everything you said sounds bad. Down the hole. You'll see. And if I might make a suggestion, don't try to escape. It would be bad for both of us. No select button yet. No sprint. Bum, 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 bum. This room? It's this room. What's this? Ah! Get up, Earth Dog. Ugh. Who... Who are you? You will address me as Commander Bloss. My gun. You gave it back? I've given you more than that. You'd be bothered to look. I'd also fitted you with a real parasite. What is this? Some kind of body armor? Ah! It's alive! It's biting my head! It's crushing my neck! Every girl soldier wears a parasite. You are no different. Hey. I can breathe again. I feel stronger than before. Physical advantages are just the beginning, but I'll explain all of that later. I'm sure my medical staff mentioned a little s my little game. Yeah, I won't go easy on you. Me? Oh no. I just observe and take a few bets. You'll be fighting Hank, the previous champ. Now get ready. Begin. Nope. Mm. 
choo 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 Ow. We didn't even lose health from that. Yep. And there he goes. Is that the best you've got? Blended! Yes, from the moment I saw you under lock and key, I knew you'd be prove valuable. Your human leaders would vomit if they knew we had our hands on one of their most hated outcasts. I'll make you an offer. I'm listening. How would you like to pay back the fools who exiled you? I'll let you live. In exchange, you can perform a couple of... odd jobs. You mean betray my planet? You betcha! <laughs> Does that bother you? Not really. Does this mean I'm free to go? Ha! <laughs> leave. Take the Grand Tour. I'll leave and keep your si let you keep your sidearm. Never forget my very cre loyal creature is fused to your spine. My men are watching. Prove you can be relied upon, and you will go far in the Krill forces. Okay. Uh, we got a bunch of dialogue still to get to. Can we see? We do! We do have all of our guns still. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the plus in the new game plus. Mm, boom, boom, boom. All right, taking the tour. Nope. Oh, Commander Bloss isn't giving you launch clearance. You'll need to turn around. Okay, okay. Alright. If it isn't the new guy, emergency call came in. Back in a few minutes. Will you? Okay. What do I have to do next? That's the fighting room. Oh, nope, that's the bedroom. How did you recruit Pillar Sight? You could run faster than before. Hold the B button to run. Are you open? Well, whatever. Just uh, aim to try and remember. Yeah, there's the monster room. Okay. Oh, I know what I need to go to next. The comms room. I think it's here. Yes. Da -da 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 Oh, they're sending in Morse code. It's all dots. Wrecker, alive and kicking, I see. No thanks to you. You tried to kill me. Control yourself, Wrecker. Your voice will carry. I don't see what the difference it makes since I've got a bug on my head listening in on every word. I'm as good as dead already. That parasite won't be reporting anything. That's not what Bloss said. He's lying. After your last mission, we found Krill pilots dead in the wreckage. We've done extensive studies of their parasites. And? It's a harmless biotechnology, mindless, reactive creatures. The Krill, no different than... To the Krill, no different than a wristwatch. Now listen carefully. I've just now pulled up our intel on Bloss. He's the lowest ranking commander in the Krill service. There's a reason his starbase is positioned in the middle of nowhere. Give him an angle that offers career advancement, and you'll have a meeting out of your hand. When should I contact you again, sir? I'll signal you. How? Like this. Hear me in your ear? We implanted a chip behind your ear. I can send you a one-way signal. Thanks for consulting me first. Ah, use that anger. It'll help you sell your story. I'll be in contact again soon. Okay, now we talk to Bloss. Now we talk to our boss, Bloss. Our Bloss boss. Bloss the boss. Bossy Bloss. Blastopher P. Blot Bossington.
Ah, you're back, Earthman. I just got an urgent call from Krill High Command. It's the time to cash in that favor you owe me. I'm your man. We're dropping by the station into a heavily forested planet. A lot of hostile life forms in the area. If I set you up with one of our Krill fighters, can you blaze a path for us? I'd rather not risk one of my own men. Just call me Ensign Expendable. Then get yourself to the launch bay. All right, now we can save. Have a ten times damage. Bouncy balls. Look at the big shots again. You know what? We'll go with this. Just because I like how it looks. Alright. There we go. Just heard the news. You're flying a krill fighter? Seems that way. Okay, well, this ain't no like human create. Krill fighters are living beings, just like your armor. Don't spook it, whatever you do. The ship's alive? It chit chats with your personal parasite. That's how you control it. You'll also be sharing your energy and experience with any ship you pilot. So if my ship gets the sniffles, just take care of her, and she'll take care of you. While you're in the control, rolling the control tabby, you and your ship share life and limb. You can see why saving your progress is a good idea before flying. Okay. Right, yep. New mission. Collect it. Go to launch bay. Beam ourselves up! Okay, human, listen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Save. Save complete. All right. Uh, so I think we're going to call it for now. Um, I want to see if there's more to this game uh, after beating it and see if maybe and hinted maybe there could be an alternate ending. Uh, unfortunately, we... Uh, Apparently, by saving, we can't go back to where we were before. We have to start and go through New Game Plus over again. But that's fine with me, because I've, I've been enjoying it. Um, I'll look up and see if like there's an alternate ending. If there is, I'll probably keep playing, and I'll play a little bit more on stream. Um, but just so I can get through it uh, faster, I'll probably be playing a bit in my free time as well. Uh, so it won't be a full playthrough on stream. Um... But I do want to see, like, if there's some alternate content and extra stuff that we missed. Because uh, there are definitely some gun parts that we didn't get. Um, that, you know, I'd like to find. And uh, play some of that on stream. So. Until then. Um, let's see. See, this week I'll probably be playing uh, some more cyber... Uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, and then some more Armored Core 6 on Friday. Um, and I use my little spaceship overlay uh, for Armored Core 6 as well, which is really fun. Um, but I think uh, we're just going to call it for now. And uh, and thank you so much for everyone who showed up, for uh, our raiders, and thank you to everyone watching the VODs, everyone in chat means a lot to me so much and um i will see you next time thank you so much Bye bye